obviously a very different movie for you. Is there anything about this type of movie that changed your prep process at all? Anything you were used to doing that didn't apply here? No, I think that uh, it's, it is, the process is the same. Uh, but I think that the most important thing is can you relate to it? Do you feel that you can act that out and you, you know, uh, can do the job really well? I think that 30 years ago, I would have had maybe a difficult time because I wasn't a parent yet. But as soon as you're a parent, then you can really relate to the situation of like, imagine that your daughter, I have two daughters, if your daughter is in that kind of a situation. And that then that, that creates the sadness. And that's what really gets you into the part. Um, and then I was surrounded by really good actors that uh, made it totally believable. I mean, Abigail really made it totally believable that she's sick and that she's dying uh, from moment to moment. I mean, she was really that well prepared and did such a great job as an actress. And how about working as a producer on this? Because there's a whole bunch of producers on this movie, as there normally are with independent films. So was there any specific element of the production that you were responsible for? Well, uh, whenever Jolie came to me and said that she needed a day off, <laughs> I was responsible then to go and say to her, yes, you can have a <laughs> day off. Don't put me in the hot seat. <laughs> I didn't even know he was one of the producers. It's better than demanding to get him co your coffee or something. He's joking. No, actually, 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 uh, the, the thing that I did do was protect the director. Uh, because when you have a first-time director, people usually come in and they start telling him what to do. And um, I made sure that he's able to take his vision that he had, that he presented to me right early on before this was ever a movie. And, um, and I bought into that vision. I thought he was really a, a great visionary. And I wanted to make sure that he can turn that vision into reality. Uh, and he was great in directing, and he was really great in the way he used the talent. Uh, we just loved him, loved working with him because he was so good in communicating also what he wants, what he expects out of the scene and so on. So it was fun also producing. For your character, when I hear stepmother, I automatically just think evil stepmother for some reason. Oh, yeah. But that's not the case with Caroline at all. However, in the notes, it did say that she was originally written a little colder. So can you talk about how she changed from script to screen? Well, she, the character I play, his second wife, it is complicated because she has enormous love for her husband. She does have love for his daughter, but they have their own two small children. Plus, it's her horrific times. Um, and that there's a, a um, you know, the zombie terrible uh, illness is being passed on through people. So, you know, a complicated character. I'm with you. Stepmother does sound funny, but I, th I think she's very human at the end of the day. Um, uh, what do you do when you love everyone and you have to make some choices? That's tricky. And now before we have to wrap up, you have a lot of great things coming up, but we have a lot of readers who love all your past work. So I was wondering if there's any specific memorable moments from way back when, I don't, like Predator or Twins or Terminator, anything that you could share. Oh, I mean, how can you pick one? It's all, it's, it's, That's why I had such a hard time formulating that question, because I don't even know almost, what I would want a story from. Yeah, but no, but I mean, it's almost impossible. I mean, uh, you know, do you talk about uh, your great relationship you had with Danny DeVito? and how we smoked stogies and how he cooked pasta for me uh, every lunch uh, time and, uh, and all that. Or do you talk about being with all those great, great uh, actors and athletes on a set of Expendables, uh, you know, and that is such an extraordinary kind of a, uh, a situation to be in. So there's many. I mean, I was very fortunate that throughout the last 40 years of being in show business has been very entertaining and um, it has brought me a lot of joy.